I know the things I eat, drink, and the physical activity do all affect my health. But I feel like the things I'm eating are okay. I mean, I eat fruit and I eat vegetables, but is that enough? There's so much information out there that it's kind of confusing sometimes to know if I have a healthy eating style. So is there some kind of guidelines I can follow to know that I do have a healthy eating style? This is MyPlate. It's a visual representation of the Dietary Guidelines for Americans that shows us what our plate should look like and the five food groups we should focus on. Notice that these five food groups are fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins, and dairy. Now let's break down each food group and talk about them. Let's start with vegetables. We can get vegetables in a variety of forms. So let's talk about fresh whole veggies. We want to try to get them when they're in season, that way they're going to be higher in nutrients and they're going to be cheaper for us. You can get them canned and dried, but with these two options we just want to make sure we're looking at the salt content and then you can get them frozen. With vegetables we want to make sure we're getting a variety of colors from our dark leafy greens all the way to our orange carrots. Next let's talk about fruit. Like our vegetables there's a variety of forms we can get. When you're buying whole fresh fruit we want to make sure we're getting in season produce because they're going to be cheaper and they're going to have higher nutrients. You can also get them canned, juiced, or dried. Again, you want to make sure you're looking for the sugar content because these items may have higher sugar. When you're looking for juices, try to aim for 100% fruit juices. You also want to make sure you're getting a variety of fruit, so whether it be yellow bananas or red apples, make sure you're getting a variety. If you notice on my plate, half of our plate was fruits and vegetables, so try to make half of your plate fruits and vegetables as well. Let's talk about protein. Protein we can get in a variety of forms. We can have lean meats, fish, nuts, seeds, eggs, soy products, beans, and peas. Try to switch up your proteins from day to day. Let's talk about grains. Ideally, we would like half the grains we eat in a day to be whole grains. Whole grains provide us with a lot more vitamins, minerals, and fibers than refined grains do. Now, how do you know if something is a whole grain? Well, you can look at the nutrition facts label or the ingredients, and they should say whole grains. Some examples of whole grains, rice, oatmeal, and popcorn. Lastly, let's talk about dairy. For dairy, we'd like to switch to low fat to fat free dairy products. And for our lactose intolerant individuals, make sure you're getting products that have high amounts of calcium and vitamin D. My plate also recommends we reduce the amount of sofas we consume, not the ones we sit on. Sofas here represent solid fats and added sugars. These are high in calories and low in nutrients, meaning we want to limit the amount we're eating of these. We want to limit our added sugars, saturated fats, trans fats, and sodium. Look at the nutrition facts labels to help you identify how much of these things are in your food products. Remember, we want to focus on eating a variety of foods from each food group to get all the vital nutrients and minerals we need. Eat the right amount of food recommended for ourselves and make sure that you eat a nutritious meal to maintain a healthy body rate and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Remember, MyPlate also recommends that you get at least 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise a day. Don't have 60 minutes? That's okay. You can start at 10 minute increments and build your way up to 60 minutes. Remember, physical activity and exercise can be anything from walking, gardening, running, to working out with weights. Whatever suits you works. Remember, we want to make small changes. Eat a variety of foods and aim to get three food groups in every meal. Use my plate as a guide, but understand your foods may not always be separated into food groups like my plate is. A lot of our foods may be combination foods. So let's look at this combination food and identify what food groups I'm eating. My plate is a great guide to help you create a healthier eating style for yourself. But understanding that your foods may not always be separated like the my plate visual shows. A lot of our meals may be combination meals. For instance, this omelet. This omelet contains several food groups within itself, so let's go through and label them and see what you might be eating when you eat an omelet. The outside of our omelet is an egg. An egg falls into the protein group, so we're going to go ahead and label that as a protein. Inside, we also have mushrooms, green peppers, and red peppers. These are all a variety of vegetables, so we're going to go ahead and label that. Lastly, we have cheese. Cheese is a type of dairy, so we're going to go ahead and label it as dairy. Right there, your omelet contains three different food groups, and that's ideal for every meal. We'd like to try to get three different food groups at every meal. 
But if you notice, there's two more arrows because in this meal, we also have orange juice, which falls into the fruit category. And on the side, we have whole grain toast, and that falls into the grain category. Not every meal may have all five food groups. Ideally, we just want to get three. Remember, we want to make small changes, eat a variety of foods, and aim for getting three food groups in every meal. You can use MyPlate as a guide or go to choosemyplate.gov. Here, you can use their website to get more resources or you can download the new MyPlate app. You can set goals for yourself and make small changes towards a healthier eating style.